Good. How was everybody? Good. Good. Good day for it. Not bad. It's a bit of a new experience for me. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Nah, pretty standard, but not too bad. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it hasn't been too bad for a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we doing this on a Monday morning? <laughs> <laughs> My name's uh, Peter Rowley. My role is the Construction Director at Two Construct. And I'm Duncan McPherson, Managing Director at Two Construct. Two Construct started back in 2004, uh, 20 years ago. So we actually, the incorporation was the 11th of June. We've probably known each other for 32, 33 years now. So um, at the time, I was working for one of the Tier 1 builders in town. And um, Duncan was working with a company called JA Dodd at the time. They did all the external works on this project and we sort of met up by J.A. Dodd doing the external works on that project and then sort of from there just kept going. And in the end, um, I sort of moved away from the tier one space and into the smaller space and went and worked with Duncan. We had a good relationship back then from that project right at the start and then basically joined J.A. Dodd and went from there. He was a young bloke at Holland Stolte Lewis, 530 Collins, the stock exchange building and as Pete said, we were doing the external works and it was one of those jobs where it had to be finished and um, we were working around the clock. Nothing's changed, still are on a lot of jobs, but uh, no, Pete was, Pete was there and went and bought us pizzas and bought pizzas in one night for all the boys as they worked through the night. So I thought, not a bad bloke, hit it off. And as Pete said, 32, 33 years later, here we are. Well, I'm Brian Ward. I was the proprietor of a law firm, a commercial law firm, Brian Ward and Partners and uh, I was the person to whom uh, Duncan turned in his moment of need 20 years ago. Very early in the piece, I said, you know, who's, who's going to be, and I probably said right-hand man. The, his answer was instant, and it was, it was Peter Rowley. So he, that was his, his partner in crime. That was the person that he had to have. And then when I met Peter, I thought they were really a marriage made in heaven. I mean, there was Duncan, the extrovert and the energy giver and Peter was clearly um, a person who had great technical ability, understood Duncan, they knew each other, but I could tell that they were suited to each other. It was like a, a marriage of two different um, personality types and when you see those types of qualities, you just get a feeling that it's, uh, it's going to be successful. So when uh, Duncan left the business, he uh, called me up shortly after and said, well, I think I can do it. My, I want to do my own construction company and do it my way and I need some help to get it set up, get it going. So uh, starting from step one was uh, let's set up the company. I think it was in June 2004, we met in my office and actually signed all the paperwork to set up the actual company paperwork. You can't start those sorts of things without some good relationships and that sort of helped us forever grateful for getting the start. That's the hardest part really at the end of the day. So yeah, eight weeks, eight weeks of, ha of hustle and hassle, but um yeah, we got going and, and thought it was a good idea. And we were always told, have a shop front, not a post office box. So we quickly hired a small office up in Bay Street and, and swung the door. Sitting around, around the kitchen table, coming up with names, looking through the ASIC register as to what names we could come up with. We looked at, you know, two was a good idea because there was two of us or whatever it was at that point in time. But it, um, we looked at two build and that was taken, but um, two construct sort of resonated with both of us and, and everyone else and it was a good idea and it was pretty sort of trendy to put a number in front of everything back in back 20 years ago, probably still is. Yeah. So, um, and we came up with that and some colours. It's all worked since then. Um, first impressions, Pete, Jovial, Duncan Strict. They're polar opposites, totally different people. First of all, the footy teams that they supported weren't the <laughs> ones I was into. Straight up sort of guys, I guess. Sort of knockabout sort of guys, really. People who you could relate to. And I mean, when you get them inside a room, um, you'd think they were sworn enemies. I remember Duncan seemed to be a kind of larger than life figure and a bit intimidating. Peter was very, almost the opposite in a way, very uh, accommodating and make you feel comfortable straight away and had a good sense of humor and a good laugh. Really personable, but they still had that drive to, to accomplish something. You could sort of see it back then, they, they had a real sort of statement about them. They, they're good people, so they come across right, they do their job well, they're very experienced in what they do, um, and very professional. And they've had the support of two great women in their lives, Lynn 
McPherson, who was a strong, strong supporter and a silent supporter of Duncan and a perfect match for him, and Pauline, who was exactly the same for Peter. During the first year, there was four of us in the office, probably two to four out in the field. Uh, the office was probably the size of what this room is at the moment. Yes, so back in the early days, I remember, you know, almost day one, a little tiny little office in uh, Bay Street, Brighton. Uh, walked in there, it was just the four of them. Duncan, Peter, um, Danny Peluso, the estimator, who's still with them today, and Christy Samuels, who was the office slash admin person back then. And uh, back then, I remember the first, one of the first meetings was, uh, we, we just want to be a small little construction company, do jobs of the size of two million to four million dollars, do two or three of those a year, and we'll be happy. We sort of had a relationship with Patrick's uh, stevedores down on the docks there. So um, we started out down in there. Our first job was big hard stand pavement, mainly for the container stacking uh, and the refrigeration unit. We also had a big substation, which we sort of redeveloped down there as well. So that was um, our first real sort of kick into it. Very difficult for a new company to get a job in, a, in an environment. Most people won't take on a, a fresh company. It's, they've got to have um, some results. They'd been dealing with Peter and Duncan previously. So it was just a new name to, a, to an old, old relationship. You know, you sort of go back to our old site meetings. Um, our you know, site meeting of the very first job we had, we had basically the whole company in the room for the site meeting. So that was... A little different to what it is now, but... Um... Two construction Reds, we've done like over 150 jobs together and probably turned over over $50 million, which is, you know, so obviously we've both grown and obviously Two Constructor growing all the time in going from, you know, the schools and civil into the industrial sectors and, and things like that, doing the big factories and things. So they're, they're always improving. We've stuck pretty thick with the people that have supported us on the way through and we think that's pretty fundamentally important and the core values and, the, and what we stand for as a business uh, is something that we've instilled and something that we follow, so. As they say in the uh, visions and goals and values, retain the best, so that's what I think that they've done over the 20 years and that's why they've lasted 20 years, I suppose, so. When, when new people came in, it was the no dickhead policy, so that held, held everyone in good stead and I think we've ended up with a, a good rounded group of people and, and they've been good mentors. They let us do our job. In this industry, people don't. There's a lot of micromanaging. I came across as a contracts administrator, uh, which is kind of our entry level position on a project team. Got given the opportunity to kind of manage a smaller project on my own, and then I've evolved into larger projects um, into a project manager, and now a position of senior project manager. So I was put on as a, as a CA as well and started uh, back in 2014, and then um, yeah, progressed my way up to. Project manager, taking on some small projects to start off with and then, yeah, becoming a, a civil manager now. So looking after and project managing our big, big civil base projects. The big thing for me with joining Two Construct was that career growth that was promised by the guys and was lucky and has definitely been fulfilled. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for, you know, growth from the infancy of where you can come in at and to now be in a more senior role within the organisation. We feel like we've got a good mix of youth and, and also experienced heads um, and that culmination of everyone moving together with the common goal of getting projects completed on time and budget with um, to the standards that we need to. The change in our systems and just how we um, attack a job now, like with larger teams in our offices and all that. We used to think a job, a million dollar job was big where now I suppose we wouldn't even, we can't even do those ones anymore. Like Everything's really come along, um, which is you know natural to do so with the scale of projects that we're now completing. It was when we secured the first major project for Fraser's property, Crusader Caravans at Epping. We managed to get through that project uh, and delivered a fantastic result for the client and for the tenants. And it really set a benchmark for us in the industrial space and a signal to the market that we were capable of doing major projects in that space and um, delivering for the major players in that space as well. There's a lot of places in Melbourne I drive around and go, yep, been there, been there, been there. We've had a lot of feature projects across Melbourne. The message we have of 20 years strong is we've survived. We've back to the conservatism of balance sheet that allowed us to do what we needed to do. And we just see 20 years strong now and hopefully 25 and the honour boards, 10 year and 20 year boards that we advocate for our employees and some of them have been here and been recognised accordingly. 
we're looking to forward to that 20th year because there'll be a number of people that have been here since the start of the business and they'll be just rewarded for their efforts and commitment to Peter and I and our families. Yeah, well done, guys. You've gone through some tough times. I know um, COVID and, and it, those times would have been tough and um, I think you've um, managed your company very well and, uh, and kept it financially viable, which is, which is pretty good when there's built builders that haven't survived in this environment. So, uh, well done. Um, hats off to you both. Um, you've um, taken on some advice over the years. You've actually listened and implemented and uh, it's been a pleasure working with you both and just seeing it grow and, and seeing your team of staff grow and it's been a pleasure. I wish you all the best. You're a great bunch of people um, and hopefully we can keep working in the future together. You know, congratulations for them because they bore the risk and so on to, to give us what we enjoy now. So yeah, uh, 20 years on. Um, all the congratulations and thanks is, you know, duly appreciated. Yeah, they'll have no problem punching in another 20 years. Congratulations, Duncan and Pete. Big congratulations, guys. Congratulations, 20 years. Congratulations. Congratulations to the guys. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Thank you and congratulations on 20 years and like, I look forward, along with everyone else, to the, the next 20 for 2 Construct. your favourite memories at Probably, Probably not too many to share. Not probably fitting for camera. Probably not for camera. <laughs>